Good morning, good afternoon, good evening viewers. This is uh, Jimmy Nixon coming from Whitley TV. And today our first team is playing Killer Marsh Juniors. And I uh, believe we have won the toss and we have decided to field. So opening bowling for Wheatley today is uh, Jordan Niles, my roommate. Well, so to say, housemate. And then comes the first ball. And it's an absolute peach. And it's gone down for four buys. Oh, lovely ball. Good line and length there from Jordan. So, Henry Patterson opened up from the uh, tennis court ends here. And his first ball, lovely. Um, big shout out to umpire Ian Bates, uh, who was down at the test match in Lords this week. And he was uh, walking around the ground, and apparently he heard some people in London talking about Wheatley TV. So, uh, not only have we gone global, but it turns out the Southerners even like us. Clipped into the leg side. And that's our new sign in Annie, who uh, is not an under 16 player, um, who's uh, playing his first game for the first. He's got a big 71 for the twos on Saturday last week. So, Jordan coming in for a second over. And um, for all those people that uh, were asking and uh, made suggestions, we'd finish Harry Potter in the end. And, um, and that's a quick single. And we've moved on to um, Only Fools and Horses which I believe was um, one of the suggestions that uh, made in the comments. And that is edged, and it's come down past me for quick four runs. Very good ball from Henry there, and uh, unfortunately didn't carry to the uh, slip cordon. So we're moving to the fifth over here, and Jordan Niles coming into ball. Uh, that is um, tapped into the leg side for quick single. And that's uh, takes him 13 for no wickets. So, Mad Dog um, coming up to the wickets here for Henry. And um, lovely ball from H. A quick update on the washing line there is uh, currently no clothes, but hopefully that will change a bit later on in the innings. And Jordan comes trundling in. And, uh, going for a quick single. And it's possibly a run out, and it's not. A good throw, unfortunately. And the batsman gets back to his crease. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. And that's a leg stump. Bent backwards, and that's uh, 13 for one in the seventh over. Great ball from Jordan there. So, uh, new player in, left handed. A bit of change of angle for me here. In comes Jordan, clips into leg side for a quick single. Fielded by Henry. Into my dog. That clipped into the uh, offside and great fielding by Eddie there with his foot. And Killer Marsh run two. Owen comes Jordan, big shout for LBW. And the umpire says, not out. Oh, and that's hit the leg. It's a big shot for LBW. And uh, not given, that's a leg bite. Oh, big shout for LB, and that's not out. So that's 10 overs down, it's 32 for one. In comes Jordan. It's uh, a bit of an edge. Down to a short third man, and uh, a quick single. Jordan Niles comes uh, steamrolling in here. And that is a beautiful ball, and a uh, bit of a weekly word burner. And, uh, a bit of an aggressive send-off there by Jordan as well. So that's um, 35 for two now. Henry coming into his uh, over, and that's another wicket off stump, and that's 35 for three. So that's 35 for three now, Henry comes in again, and that's an absolute peach of a ball, just misses the edge. And a great follow-up after that wicket. Killer Marsh, you're going to have to dig deep here. And you know what they say, never go back at Wheatley. And uh, that's a nice follow-up ball there from Henry. Finds a bit of bounce for once. So we're moving to our 13th over here, and uh, for those of you wondering, Mr Peck is currently having uh, high tea with his uh, 
mother that's Betty T's room in Harrogate and he'll be back tomorrow recording and commentating I might pop down and do a bit of co-commentary with him um, depending on how bad my hangover is tomorrow and then comes Jordan to bowl and it's dug deep and that's caught um, and that is a four down that's 37 for four a short ball from Jordan there and uh, unfortunately the batter didn't get hold of it So Henry comes in for his next over, and there's two slips in for him, and that's a big swing and a miss there. In comes Jordan Niles here to bowl, and that's hit straight on the leg, and that is LBW, and that's given, he's out. And the batsman started to walk there before uh, the umpire even gave the decision. So Killermarsh Jr is in a bit of trouble here, 43 for 5. And in comes Jordan Niles, and that is another peach for ball, and the wickets have gone everywhere. The batsman's looking at the ground, not very happy. Unfortunately, I have to walk. So Killermarsh now 43 for 6, and uh, I believe that's a, a fifer for Jordan Niles. And his first one for Wheatley. So, fantastic effort, and that's the over. So, uh, new bowler for Wheatley here, 43 for 6, 35 overs to go. And it's uh, our Australian farmer-to-be, Jamie Sizer, who I believe is on 199 wickets for Wheatley. Uh, and he'll be hoping to get to 200 today. So, in comes the first ball, and that's uh, hit the pads into the leg side for no run. And that is edge, no ball. It's not quite going to reach down to the boundary. Uh, so it'll be a quick single for uh, Killermash there, moving them on to 44. Yeah. Ah, and that's his 200th wicket for Wheatley. Middle stump out the ground, and that's 45 for 7 now. And a uh, big handshake, well done Jamie Sizer. 200 for the club. So Killer Marshal now 45 for 7 and Jordan Niles coming in for his ninth over. Uh, I think he's probably going to bowl through now. And in he comes and uh, well defended by the Killer Marsh batsman there. Oh, oh. That was a peach of a ball. Just missing the edge and that's uh, over. Jamie Sizer in for his second over. First ball. Oh. Oh. Just skims uh, past the uh, edge of the batsman there. Great ball in there. And that's hit the pads, and that is out LBW, and that's uh, 45 for 8 now, and uh, making quick work of the Killamash batsman here, and that's 201 for Mr Sizer. So 45 for 8 now, and uh, Jamie Sizer coming in with his... Uh, Next ball, and the wickets have gone, and that's uh, 45 for 9 now. Great ball in for Jamie Sizer, and uh, Killmarsh are going to have to dig deep here to put uh, a half-decent score on, I believe. And in comes Jamie Sizer again, and that's uh, tapped away to the uh, third man boundary. Jordan Niles picks up for a quick single. So, Killamarsh uh, 46 for 9, and Jordan coming into bowl. And up the stumps and uh, fielded in the cover region for no runs. So, Jamie into his third over uh, to the left hander. And that is slapped to uh, the boundary for four runs. And that's the first four today, I believe. That was a lovely shot. Well batted. Let's see what Jamie can do with this ball. And it's uh, really off the pads. And Henry Patterson picks it up. The sis to the right hander here. And he comes, and the wickets. And that's his third of the day, and that's the end of the innings. Well bowled and uh, well played uh, Wheatley. That's 53 for, well, 53 all out for uh, Killer Marsh. So we're back after lunch, a quick lunch break, and it's uh, Alex Angel and Tom Watfield to bat for Wheatley. And uh, Alex starts off with a six, first ball. 
beautiful shot. He's going to make uh, potentially short work of this uh, 54 run target. Ah, and that is whipped for another four this time. Well, but it's 10 off two balls. And let's see what Alex can do with the third ball. Here comes the bowler, and that is edged. Not quite for four. Phil is going to pick it up, but they'll run for two. And that's uh, 12 off three balls. Oh, and that's a lovely follow up there from the bowler. Just missing the edge of uh, Mr. Angel's bat. Uh, that is hit and caught. And Alex Angel is out, and that's a good finish to the over for Killer Marsh. And Alex uh, walks off the field with 12 runs. So we move into the second over, 12 for one. We be here, that's a short ball, dab back down the ground, no runs. And that's clipped into the leg side, and that's racing away to the boundary. Is the killer master fielder going to get there? And he does, he stops it. And Wheatley run for two. And that's short, and that's it to the boundary, one bounce, four runs. So Wheatley currently 18 for one off uh, the first two overs and we're moving into our third over and Munch the face and that stays very low and well kept out by Munch. So for those viewers who um, like to comment on mine and Peggy's uh, camera work, you'll be glad to know we're going to get a pan and tilt soon, that's well dug out by Munch there. Uh, machine, which means uh, when we follow the ball to the boundary, instead of seeing the skies and the trees, you might actually be able to see the ball. So we've moved the camera around here for now. As, uh, the first slips in and it was a very good angle, and that's a uh, nudge down to the um, third man boundary for four more runs. That takes Wheatley on to 25, ticking, uh, ticking along very nicely here. So a second slip being put in here for this bowler. In he comes, and uh, great defensive shot by Munch there. Nothing getting through there. And that is a full toss, whacked for four more runs from Munch, and that takes the score to 34. Wheatley making quick work of this. And that's uh, down leg side. And that's five more runs. Sorry, that's four more runs. He said it came off the bat. So Munch moves on to 13. And that is a beautiful cover drive. And that's going to go all the way to the boundary. And that's four more runs. Beautiful shot there. So we move into the fourth over here. And uh, sorry, the fifth over. And that's off the pads, and that's going to be four leg buys. And that takes the score to 47. And a target of 54. But that potentially could be done this over. The bad news, viewers, is that uh, we're probably not going to get half an hour worth of viewing today in the highlights. But the good news is, is that Pecky's back tomorrow. And the first have a, a rearranged fixture. And uh, we'll be recording tomorrow as well. And the video will hopefully be going up either Sunday or Monday. And that is short. That's hit into leg side. It's not going to go for four runs. But they should come back for two. Nice gentle stroll for two runs. It's a big appeal and he's given it. And that's two down for Wheatley. That's a good bowling from Killamarsh there. So Tom Waterfield departs and uh, in comes Luke Tong, who is, uh, he won't like me saying you this, but he's on a, a pair of ducks for the last two games. So let's see if we can get off the mark. So Wheatley 50 for two here, coming into the six over. Luke Tong to face the ball, and it's edged down to the, uh, the boundary through the second slip area for four runs. And with that, that's the game. That's uh, 54 runs and uh, Wheatley win it in the six over and, and so um, the game is over six over um, and weekly knocked the runs off 54 runs and uh, we'll be back tomorrow as I said with Mr Peck so um, thank you for watching and uh, 
If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. And uh, please keep the comments coming. Mr. Pet loves responding to you.